Okay, so I found this wood mason jar at Walmart for $2.97, and I started by staining it using some General Finishes gel stain, and the color was Antique Walnut. You'll probably see us use this gel stain often. It's a great product, and it's really easy to work with. I applied the gel stain using a Gen Foam brush, and once the mason jar was covered, I took some paper towels and just removed the excess and wiped the gel stain. Once that was dry, I took some hot glue and put it on the back of the mason jar and secured it to this board that I found at Hobby Lobby. We just love these artificial bundles of lavender that we get from Hobby Lobby. And I took the bundle and I cut the pieces off into single strands and then I laid them on my board as if they were coming out of the top of the mason jar. And once I had a good amount cut in a plan, I took the hot glue and I secured the pieces of lavender to the board. Now this board I did grab from Hobby Lobby for $8.99. It was in the unfinished wood section and it's a whitewashed background and it measures 11 by 18 inches. Once I had the lavender across the mason jar and pretty full, I took some wired edged burlap ribbon and I secured that to the top of the mason jar so it gave the appearance of it wrapping around the neck of the jar. And then I had a black and white gingham ribbon that I used to make a bow, and I placed that on top of the burlap. It's just a simple way to hide the ends of the lavender. This wired ribbon is great to work with when making a bow. You can kind of fluff out the ends and make it more full. And then to finish it off, I had this adhesive stencil that says family that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby a while back. And using a Gen foam brush and some Antique Villa Wise Owl paint, I dabbed over the stencil. The key with this is you want a very little bit of paint on your foam brush when dabbing over the stencil. And then I removed it and it just gave an extra special touch and that completes today's project i think it came out really cute thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy watching our tutorials you can head over to youtube and we would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and we hope everyone has a great weekend